at age 52 and barely 10 years after the end of her previous marriage, Nollywood actress, producer, and entrepreneur Fetia Williams Balogun is set to get married. Wedding bells, key wedding bells inside that place like that. So after she said it severally that she probably would never get married again because according to her, she feels she has bad luck when it comes to men having tried twice and failing woefully both attempts. She has said it in several interviews that she's never going to get married anymore. However, on her birthday on the 5th of February this year, a Turkey-based boyfriend turned fiance proposed to her with family and friends present. It was a lovely affair. The engagement party held shortly and it commemorated her 52nd birthday. She's set to get married anytime soon. Speaking on her previous marriage though, she said it severally that uh, the most tumultuous period in her life was when her marriage was ending. The marriage is side Balogun that ended in 2014, that was the most tumultuous period in her year. And that the only good thing that has ever come out of her being married the first and the second time are the children she has. She has five children already, two from um, Said Balogun and three from the first marriage she ever had. But then she's happy now, luck has smiled on her and Cupid has shot her psh, one arrow and she's in love and set to marry anytime soon. I'm actually very excited for her. I don't know why I'm excited because people are like, Madam, you are 52. What are you looking for again? You are established. You have grown up children. But then, who says no to love? Oh, hold on. Let me get myself. I'm actually very excited about this. And it's not even my marriage. I don't even know who the man is because the man is a mystery. Nobody knows who he is. And the only thing we know is that just like Fetia Balogun is hell bent on keeping their relationship very private. Nothing is to be heard from anybody. Nobody even knows who this man is except for her family and some of her very trusted friends. Because people even in the Nollywood space do not know who she is engaged to. I also hope he's not one of their husbands because they'll say that mommy has collected somebody's boy toy. Just saying. Don't hold me for what I just said, please. Anyways, in an interview that she um, held very recently, when they asked her about her boyfriend or her fiancé, she was like, she's not going to mention anything about it, but we should be rest assured that when it is time for the engagement proper and the wedding ceremony, we will know about it. Although we will not be invited, but we will know about it. The mother of five grown kids, three from her first marriage and two from that with Said Balogun, who has actually been fighting a very tough battle to drop uh, uh, Said Balogun's name to her maiden name over the years, but has proved very impossible because people still refer to her as Fetia Balogun, has now been able to once and for all put the, to rest all the pressure that has been on her to get back together with Said Balogun. Because if you recall, thespians in the industry actually have been on her neck and out of Said Balogun wanting them to be cordial together and maybe even give love a chance, I mean, again. But the first time they would come together as a family was in 2019. That was the first time they were actually ever featured together in a movie role. But then, from then, they've been cordial, raising their children together as a family. A new boo is a Turkish-based, is a Turkish, is a Turkey-based businessman. He's not Turkish, he's Nigerian, but he's based in Istanbul, Turkey. I hope that settles it. But he has businesses in Nigeria too. And it was during one of his trips to Nigeria that he met Fetia Balogun. Subsequently, she traveled to Turkey to meet him. And then the love affair started and it grew. And then on her last birthday, he invited her to his home and they got engaged. Now let's circle back to how her life has been, the process she has been through, her journey even in Nollywood, and everything that has culminated to this very moment that she has found herself in love. I'm still very excited for her. Anyways, let's start. She was born on the fifth of Feb on the first of February, excuse me, 1969, as Faith Williams. But when she got married to Said Balogun after the end of her first marriage, she changed her name to Faithia Balogun and became a Muslim woman. She's originally from Delta State, but she grew up in Lagos State, which would account for her fluency in Yoruba language. 
And then she started her journey in the movie industry in the early 90s. She started to grace our screen. She has featured in several movies. And in fact, she has produced several movies of her own, some of which include Bibiri. And then in 2018, she won the African Magic Viewers, Viewers Choice Award for Best Actress in an Indigenous Movie. And it was a big win because that was like the year AMVCA started incorporating the Yoruba side of Nollywood into their award and for her to actually be one of the first people to win the award says a lot about her journey in the industry. Not only that, Fetia Williams is actually very known for being very controversial, having beef because of her age. Most times, there's this thing in Nollywood, according to reports and things we see happening around us, there's a seniority thing. Not on the basis of how long you've been in the industry but on the basis of your age so if you are a newbie in the industry but you are a grown woman every other person that you work with is expected to accord you that respect and call you either mommy something or auntie something and then she's been in the news severally for wanting to ride on younger colleagues using her age and not just her age but also the years she has spent in the industry and i think you can say she has actually done well for herself and as earned that role to be respected well in the industry. However, there's this one beef that made news when she and Se um, Remy Surutu decided they wanted to fight in public that even re resulted in F Remy Surutu eating Fetia Balogo in the face in the public. And Remy Surutu has come to say, um, I do not apologize for what I have done. I am not going to ever apologize for what I have done. She's also known to have beef with Iyabo Ojo and sev several other female colleagues that sometimes when there is time for some movies they begin to exempt her from some movie roles because they do not want her to come on set to come and cause records according to what i've heard don't hold my words responsible i'm just telling you what i've heard that she has done in the industry on june 2016 however she was conferred on a title of the attache adini and it was graced by several of her colleagues in Ebute Meta because of her contribution to the Muslim society in Ebute Meta of Lagos State. The powerhouse performing arts is a way of giving back to the society. She started this movie school where she grooms people who are interested in performing arts, either theatre, on stage, or in front of a camera in a movie she grooms them and she says that is a way of giving back to the society because if you want to enroll in that school it's just a very mega sum of money she just wants to give back to the society not only that she's an entrepreneur and she has her own fashion line her own hair care line her own hairline and also her own body cosmetic line where she produces and makes soap for people to use and you know glow and that is like the secret to a very useful age because I believe you can agree with me that Fetia Balogun is one of the few people in the industry who is actually aging very gracefully. She looks her age, of course, but she looks her age in a very graceful manner. Anyways, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about our love life and I think I have been able to explain that to you. And when wedding bells ring, you will be the first to know because I will bring you to your notice that she's going to be getting married so so and so time with so and so person whenever she decides to reveal who the mystery man is and that is all i have for you concerning our recent engagement Le might say it's late in her life because coming from somebody who has said she'll probably never get married and has counted herself unlucky several times i think that is a big feat to actually have let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think she's too old to still be getting married or still be thinking of getting married? Or do you think when love calls, just pick up your phone and answer. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. If you've seen this video and you're yet to subscribe, do that already. Hit the notification bell beside the subscription button so you will know when I have new stories for your viewing pleasure. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you.